On this New Year's Eve, though, we move on to the countdown. It is on and around the globe. It is already the New Year. Fireworks over the Opera House in Sydney Harbor, in fact. A little boy's visit to a temple in Tokyo and messages of Happy New Year. That hat right there in Berlin. And here in New York City tonight, a short time ago, they raised that giant ball that will drop at midnight. ABC meteorologist Ginger Z is there tonight on the stage of ABC's New Year's Rock and Eve. And Ginger, they do this every year. The Americans who brave the weather. What kind of weather will they face this year? Unbelievable that they do this, but tonight, not too bad. The temperature now 36, only going to drop to about 34 or 35, but it's going to feel like the mid and upper 20s. Got to tell you, though, it's not going to matter. Not to this crowd. They're hot. They are here. So excited to be here. Yeah. This is great. They are ready. I'm layered up like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> and 2013 is right around the corner. Who are you most excited to see tonight? Um, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Swift, Psy, and about another million people will jam into an area less than half a square mile to keep them all safe. If you move voluntarily, we're going to move you. Thousands of cops, radiation detectors, heavy weapons teams, and security cameras all secure beneath the radiant rain of a ball. That brilliant orb weighs a whopping 11,875 pounds. It's adorned with 2,688 Waterford crystals. That ball will be lowered 141 feet during the 60-second countdown. When you see it on TV, you can't tell all of the little details, but each of the crystals is different. Exactly. Each of the crystals, and there's 2,688 panels on the, uh, the actual ball. And this year, the, the theme is let there be peace. And one of those peaceful crystals, a special tribute for the first year without Dick Clark. One of these Waterford crystal triangles, and we engrave the name of Dick Clark on the triangle itself. And it's right here. So he's with us no matter what. Spectacular to see it up close there. Ginger back with us now, and it's not just Times Square ringing in the new year. Americans across the country, so what do they face tonight? And it is some of the coldest air of the season for a lot of folks. We'll go to the map here and show you one below for Minneapolis. These are temperatures at midnight. One of the warmest, Orlando at 60, 47 Atlanta, D.C. right around 40. But we're so fortunate we've had all the holiday storms this week, at least right now, not too bad going into the new year. Wow, David? five degrees there in Denver I saw on the map. Ginger, yeah. we'll check back in with you shortly.